Okay. Nagsasalita pala ako. Naka-off pala yung microphone ko. Oy. Narinig mo na ako, sis. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Sa pagpunta. By the way, uh, for today, I actually kanina is nag... Ano na rin ako? Nag... Uh, share na rin ako dito. So, nag... Uh, tawag dito? Nag-livestream na rin ako kanina for the... Uh, Lesson. So, yung lesson dito is for intermediate English. Everybody are welcome. Every nationality or any nationalities, guys, are welcome to join in this class. And uh, kung may mga katanungan kayo or gusto nyong uh, umakyat, then go akyat kayo, guys. So, you are really much welcome. So, yan. So, ginawa ko pala ito for those people who wanted to earn money or extra money especially nowadays because it's quite difficult or it's quite hard to go out and earn some money especially uh, during the pandemic nice this topic yeah i've decided to share na lang <laughs> because some of my friends also are asking me to do it so i told them na you may also check some of the lessons that i will have in english and of course some of the students nowadays are are having some difficult times on um on their modules when it comes to english dito sa pinasisa so and also i would like to help some of the esl teachers or the aspiring esl teachers yung mga gusto maging teacher or magteach ng english so on here i will also give some of the companies kung ano ba pwedeng applyan and what will be the questions so, pero bago tayo pumunta doon, let's talk about first the basic English and also the intermediate English. So, napaka-importante nito. Hindi mo kailangan na may accent ka when it comes sa teaching ng English. So, yung kailangan mo lang talaga is yung, alam mo yung grammar, alam mo kung ano yung sinasabi mo. Oh, go! Plan ko mag-online English uh, teacher. Go sis, for sumo yan. I will fully support you with that one. Actually, napakaganda ng trabaho niyan. Um, I've been in this industry since 2016. And uh, dito talaga ako tumagal. Kasi hawak mo yung oras mo. Apps lang problema. Actually, there's no need for you to download any apps. You can use Zoom if you want. Zoom... Hindi siya mabigas, sis, yung Zoom. Alam mo ba yung Zoom, sis? So, uh, eto siya, Zoom. Yan yung usual na ginagamit namin. So, in my case, I usually use Zoom or um, Kakao Talk if my students are from South Korea, if they want a phone call class or a phone class. And then Zoom, I think Zoom is one of the best applications that I use for virtual classes. So, yan, guys. So, CC, if you really want to join, you can also, uh aralan ko nga yan. Yeah, go ahead, sis. So, since nandito ka na, I, eh, hindi ko gustong sayangin yung oras mo. So, ano ba yung gusto mong malaman when it comes to teaching, CC? Kasi gusto mo naman mag-online teaching, di ba? So, ano ba yung una-una mong gustong malaman sa industriyang ito? Ah, yung conversation, but grammar, vocabulary, for poor English conversation. <laughs> Sisi, kung gusto mong umakyat and you wanted to join in my class, um, mag-leave ako ng link sa baba para makapasok ka. And if you have any questions, you are feel free to do that. Okay, since ikaw nandito, let's do the class now. <laughs> Kasi ayoko naman sayangin yung oras mo na nandito ka tapos wala naman tayong ginagawa. So, let's start na, guys. So, we are on here. Okay. So, on here, guys, we will talk about present tense. Okay. 
present tense. So, sis JD, meron ka bang alam sa present tense or meron ka bang idea when it comes to present tense? Ah, it's okay, CC. Yeah, actually, it's good kasi, uh, yeah, talaga yung language kasi kailangan mo talaga yan, ano, talagang kailangan mo yung gamitin sa pang-araw-araw. Like, for example, in my case, um, there are some words na nakakalimutan ko, especially sa Filipino, yung Tagalog. Kasi yung Tagalog kasi hindi naman talaga usual na ginagamit ko yan. So, it's rarely... Uh, hiligay nun, palagi kong ginagamit yan, and then English. So, those were the languages that I used. Okay, so let's start with the present tense. So, yung present tense, guys, is, okay, meron tayong, gagamitin natin yung dots, ha? So, yung present tense, yung structure niya is I, and then simple tense of the verb. I play with my friends okay example okay this one or uh um ano natin, simplihan natin, ha? i brush my teeth every day yung present tense guys yung structure niya so it should be i um she he Okay, wait. Dali. Parang ito tayo. Okay. So, I, we, they, you. Right. Tapos, yun dito niya, play. Walang ing. So, I, we, you, they, play. And then, yung she, he, and it, so this time, guys, yung play magiging place. Kasi gamit natin yung she, he, and it. Okay, any more questions? Meron ba tayong tanong dyan? Na kukuha ba natin? Or medyo mabilis ako? Okay, by the way, guys, this one. Okay, this one, guys, yung ginagamit natin dito. Okay, if you notice, I play, we play, they play, you play. And she plays. Or kasi ginagamit naman natin, or let's say brush dito. This one, gagawin natin brushes. Okay. So, kailan ba natin ginagamit yung present tense, guys? Ginagamit natin ang present tense. For example, ito yung dots. Ito yung action. Yung action na yan is paulit-ulit na, ginagamit, uh, na ginagawa natin. Para siyang routine. Okay? So, para sa routine, ginagawa natin ng paulit-ulit. Okay? So, yan yung present tense. So, for example, ano ba yung mga ginagawa nyo, guys, every day? So, example, sa akin, I teach English every day. So, ikaw, Sisi, ano yung ginagawa mo dyan? So, yan. I teach English every day. Kasi I naman siya, so dapat walang S or ES. Kasi I, we, you, they, walang S or ES. Doon lang tayo gagamit ng S or ES pag she, he, and it. Okay, so...
Okay. Wala pala tayong audio ulit. Sorry guys, I was just checking for the internet connection if it's still there. So let me know if you're still there guys. Just comment down below.
Nagsasalita na naman ako. Wala na naman audio. <laughs> Thank you, Sis JD, sa pag-share sa iyong uh, story sa YouTube. So, thank you so much. Yan, guys. From JD Actas. Thank you. Talaga, nakamute pa ako ngayon. Or late delay lang siguro yung messages ko dito. Hmm. Yan. Siyam, magandang hapon. Hapon ba? Hapon na ba dyan sa inyo, sis? Okay na. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the um, basic present tense. So, yung present tense, it is habitual. Ito yung palagi mong ginagamit or palagi mong ginagawa. Like, for example, I brush my teeth every day. I teach English every day. So, wala siyang ing na kasama. Simple lang siya. Brush, teach, uh, smile, ano pa ba? Work. Yun. Wala siyang es or s or ed. So, simple tense lang siya. So, how about you guys? What do you do every day? So, you may leave your comment. You may leave uh, your answer on the chat box. What do you do every day? Okay. I think it's really good if uh, some of you, if you really want to join in the class and if you really want to be an ESL teacher, you may just uh, get into the stream yard or get into the here para naman matanong ko sa inyo. And you may also practice I eat food. <laughs> I eat food. Tama naman yun. Okay. I eat food. So that one, by the way, CC, if example, yung I eat food mo, na notice ko yung, yung letter I is small letter, always remember na if it's I, like I, myself, I, it should be capital letter. Always cap in capital letter. Kapag I na siya. <laughs> I eat food. So when do you eat food? Okay, so yan. How about your husband, CC? What does he do every day? Okay po. <laughs> Para ikaw lang ata yung student ko dito, CC. Oy. <laughs> Actually, uh, I've seen some of the uh, some of the foreigners I wanted also to study English for free. So that's why I also shared this one. And also for the ESL teacher. So that one. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for coming here. Okay, and by the way, do not forget that if I, we, they, you, it should be simple, no S or ES, play, brush. By the way, ES or ES is also simple tense. But for she, he, and it, we add S or ES. Okay, for present tense, simple tense of the verb. Okay, so uh, by the way, when do we use it? For example, one animal. So that's the time he sleep. Okay, so he's sleep. Okay, remember for he, she, it, there should be S or ES. So if he, he will have, should be with sleeps. Okay, he sleeps every night okay there should be an s because it is a he okay so remember she he and it should have an s or an es 
Okay, I hope kuha natin yun. Okay. So, this one, I play. We play, I brush, they, okay. So, that is the present or simple tense of the verb. Do you have any questions, guys? Okay, actually, earlier I've been, I've already taught about, about present continuous tense. And, uh, yeah, I've already taught present continuous tense. So, uh, another one, when do we use the uh, simple tense? Of course, we're also using simple tense. For example, if you're, again, if it's habitual, kung ano ba yung pang-araw-araw na ginagawa natin. And also for telling a fact. Okay? Example. Yung, uh, my sister. Okay, example. Um, ano ba yung fact? Okay. Uh, example. Yung, yung hindi nagbabago. Yung fact talaga. Example, um, she, uh -huh. example, uh, ano ba yung example ko? Example, um, Nakamute na naman ako. Nasasalita na naman ako kanina. Nakamute na naman ako. Loading na host. Loading ako. Totoo? Talaga? Hmm. Handa din lang guys ha. O nga no. Loading nga ako. Yeah. H how about ngayon sis? Loading pa ba ako? Oh by the way guys. Thank you so much for dropping by here. I have 11 viewers now. At now. So, by the way, if you have any questions regarding the English, so feel free to join in. I already left the uh, link in the chat box. So, please uh, click that link so that you may join in the class. Okay, guys. So, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And today, we're talking about present tense. Okay, so present tense, guys. Um, let's make it simple. So uh, we're doing it habitually. Okay, so the action happens um, again and again. There's a repetition of action. Repetition of action. Okay. And again... For this one, thank you, sis, JD, it's okay. By the way, thank you so much for those viewers who are in here in my class. Guys, you are free to comment on here and uh, feel free to ask some questions if you're planning, if you want to improve your speaking skills. Come on now and click the link. I'll just drop it here. Okay, so don't be shy, guys. Um, everyone has a room for improvement. So let's focus on that one. So this is the link, guys. Once you click that, you will go straight away in here. And you may also practice your speaking skills. 
Okay, so now let's go here. So again, present tense, this is habitual and has a repetition of action. And always remember that, for example, we have the subject, you, I, they, and we. Okay, and we also have she, he, and it. Okay, so for you, I, they, we, our action word is just simple, no S or ES. And again, this is habitual. For example, I brush my teeth every day. See, every day I do the action again and again. And it is also a habit for me. So I brush my teeth every day. Okay, and then let's go for he, she, he, and it. For he, she, and it, guys, instead of brush, we use brushes. So example, she brushes her teeth every day. So this is how we do this, guys. Okay? So for I, we, you, they, the verb doesn't have an S or ES, but for he, she, it, there's an S or ES. Can you give me a sentence there? Yeah, Rose out from JD Actas. Thank you so much for dropping by here. Rose cooking vlog. Okay, thank you. Oh, you have lots of people on here. 12 people. Thank you so much from JD Actas. Yeah, if you guys are uh, interested to be an ESL teacher or you wanted to improve your class, so this is Tanggalin mo yung nasa harap. Saan? Ano ba yung nasa harap? Dito? Saan? Uh, yung welcome to our free English lesson. Yun ba? Mm, ano ba yung nasa harap? Just a moment, guys. Ito? Yan ba, sis? Okay, so this is habitual. Tama ba? Hmm. Okay, next, guys, is example. We have here some examples. I'll just, yung name ko. Really? Yung name mo? Uh, where is it? This one? Sandali lang po, ha? Huh? <laughs> Kasi ang tagal ko nang hindi naka, ano, oy, nakagamit ng, eto na lang. Yan. Okay na po ba yan, Sis JD? Yeah, and by the way, guys, let's continue. I'll have here some of the uh, sentences that we do. Okay, for example, of simple present tenses, for example, on here, I'll just share it. Hmm. Okay, just a moment, please. Window, okay, this one. <clears throat> okay, I'll just show the entire screen on here, guys. So we have it here. So again, we're using the uh, simple present tense for habitual. Not just for habitual, we also use simple present tense if you're telling a fact. When we say you're telling a fact, it doesn't change. 
It's still the same. It's consistent. Okay, example on here, my father goes to, to gym or to the gym every day. So if you notice, my father, it, it's a name. It's just one person. So go will have goes. So again, the rule is he, she, it. There should be an S or ES. If we're going to change my father on here, it will become he. So that would be he goes to the gym every day. Next one, we have it here. She loves to play basketball. Actually, the highlighted here play is not the simple present tense. It's the love. Okay, so she loves. So again, she here is the subject. So our action word should have an S. That's why it will have she loves. Okay, next. Um, let's check if there is some. Okay, by the way, we have it here. If you notice, we're using usually. Okay, always. And yeah, <clears throat> those one. So uh, we will focus on that one. Yeah, thank you so much, Nelly Recto. Actually, she was also here earlier on my live stream. I think that was in the afternoon. So she was also here. Thank you so much, Miss Nelly Recto. Hindi pa talaga ako nakapagpunta sa inyong channel na, na, mamaya or bukas bukas. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mom JD. Okay, now guys, let's continue over here. So in present tense, we also use the adverb of frequency. So on here, we have here the adverb of frequency. So ano ano ba yung mga adverb of frequency? What are those adverb of frequency? I'm not sure if there are some foreigners here in my live streaming. So if there are, so please tell me. Wrong spelling pa yung ating adverb of frequency. Oy. So change natin. Adverb of frequency. Ito guys, pandagdag lang ito or it's an additional one para malaman natin kung how many times do you do the action or ilang beses mo ba ginawa yung kilos na, na habitual na ginagawa mo. So, frequency. So, yung tinatawag natin dito, adverb of frequency. So, may iba't ibang adverb of frequency, guys. Meron tayong always. Always is 100%. Okay. Usually is 80%. And then sometimes, okay, sometimes is 50 or 40 percent. And then we also have rarely. Rarely is 10 percent. And of course, never, zero percent. So when do we use the adverb of frequency in a simple present tense? We only use this in a simple present tense, like she brushes her teeth. I play every day. So that one. So simple present tense. So guys, there is a rule for this. Meron tayong rule dito. Like for example, your subject natin is she and then she gagamitin natin yung rarely so she kasi rarely uh she sha so dapat yung ating verb should have an s or es so let's just put brushes oh my goodness she rarely brushes her teeth so that would be 10 percent only so she does the action for only 10 percent or ginagawa niya lang yung kilos na yon or yung bagay na yon 10 percent lang hindi always okay so she rarely brushes her teeth and by the way guys there is a rule that rarely or adverb of frequency followed by a verb or simple 
form of a verb. Hindi pwede, guys, na example. Dito siya. She brushes her teeth rarely. Hindi siya pwede, guys. Okay? At again, yung rules natin, adverb of frequency, tapos yung verb. Example, I always sing a song. Okay? I usually dance. She usually dances. See? So, adverb of frequency and then adverb. Hindi natin pwede ilagay or we cannot put the adverb of frequency anywhere in the sentence. It should be subject, adverb of frequency, like this one. Subject, adverb of frequency, and then the verb. Okay? So that's the rules. Okay, welcome, host. Thanks a lot for dropping by here, Miss Nelly. Okay, next. Uh, Tom's like that, Stargazer League. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So I hope everyone got it. Okay, so that is the adverb of frequency. So how about you guys? What do you usually do every day? What? So my question is, what do you usually do every day? Labas na yung English natin dyan, oi. So guys, what do you usually do every day? Okay, I will wait for your response. You can type it on the comment section. Come on. Okay, again, the question is, what do you usually do every day? Okay, I think JD Actas is mentioning this one that I should remove from the front one. Just a moment, please. Okay, guys, so that's the question. What do you usually do every day? Oh, Popsky TV, thank you so much for dropping by. So actually, this uh, live streaming is about uh, English. Yeah, and kung gusto nyo matuto ng English, guys, so feel free na... Dito lang. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, yan. At kung gusto nyo maging English teacher, gusto nyo mag-sideline ng pagtuturo ng English, so feel free lang, guys, on this channel.
<laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Fabski. So here it is, guys. So again, always, usually, sometimes, rarely, and never. So that is the adverb of frequency. NR. What is NR? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so that's it, guys. How about you guys? What do you usually do every day? For example, usually, so I'm asking or tinatanong ko, kung ano ba yung ginagawa nyo sa pang-araw-araw for 80%. Kasi sabi ko, usually, 80% na mga ginagawa nyo, guys. Okay, you may practice your English na. And you may leave comment or your sentence in the chat box. Oh, Popsky, thank you so much. I think we're already, I think I will already subscribe on your channel. Didn't I? Oh, I did. Oh, okay, nago online pala to. Online gaming. Yeah. So I'll get back to you, Popsky, okay? Don't worry. But thank you so much for dropping by on here. Oh, where do you live now, Holes? Uh, actually, nasa Philippines lang ako, CC. I'm currently living in the Philippines in Miyagao, Iloilo. Yeah. So, I'm sharing this one kasi maraming mga students ngayon na nahihirapan, especially with their modules. Medyo, yeah, I just wanted to share this. And also, those people, kasi ngayon pandemic, di ba? Oh my God, I hope na hindi tayo maka, ano dito. Ngayon, yung mga nangyayari, mga bagay-bagay ngayon sa atin, is kailangan natin na ano, bakit gumagalaw yung mouse ko? <laughs> bakit gumagalaw yung mouse ko dito? So, yung, uh, gumawa ako nito, kasi I also wanted to share kung ano ba yung ano yung kasi may mga tao din na gustong mag-teach online so hindi nila alam kung paano ba matuto ng English or saan ba magsisimula so on here i tried to have this channel or to use this platform para naman makatulong na rin tayo sa ating kapwa so yeah thanks a lot guys yeah, thank you so much, Miss Nelly Recto. How about you, Miss Nelly? Saan po kayo? I think you're from uh, other country, right? English ako kapwa Pilipino ko yung yung kausap ko dito. I think it is also good, naman, to practice your English skills, right? Kasi para mas mahasa natin yon Actually, pulpul talaga ako sa Filipino, guys. Mula dati pa. So, yung mga malalalim na salita is medyo naguguluhan yung isip ko. Kahit nga mababa, medyo naguguluhan yung isip ko kung ano ba yon How about you, Miss Nelly? Taga saan po kayo? At saan po kayo ngayon? I need more English language hosts. Yeah, that's really good. Uh -huh. There's always, there is always a room for improvement naman. 
So just like me, when I was still, when I was starting in this business, I really, I really didn't know how to speak in English or to make or to construct sentences. But as the time goes by, as you practice, you will get better. I am here in Riyadh, Saudi. Oh, Saudi pala kayo. Parang kasama mo si ano, sino ba yun? Si, yung isang vlogger sa Saudi rin. Parang marami taga Saudi ata eh. Si Kuya Ray, Saudi rin. I'm not sure if kilala niya siya, Ma'am Nelly. Si Kura, Kuya Ray, ah, uh, pala eh. Rinaldo Torres, yun. So, Ma'am Nelly, if you want to have a free lesson here, so go ahead, and it's really okay for me to have this. So, actually, Ma'am Nelly, I would like to ask you, what do you usually do every day? So, it's 80%. What do you usually do every day? You should use adverb or frequency. Don't worry. No one will judge you on here. And by the way, Mom Nelly, where are you from? In the Philippines? Actually, it's really good if you uh get into the live streaming mameli so that you could also practice your speaking skills so mas maganda yon kasi hindi mo lang siya mas maganda kapag tina-type mo siya and then sinasabi mo siya mas effective yon sa learning process sa pag uh, sa pag study ng english or other languages too Okay, parang delay ata. Na-delay ata yung aking, ano, oy, yung aking internet. Bakit parang nag-backward ako? Okay, I'm from Philippines host. I live in Mindanao, Agusan del Norte. Okay, so Mom Nelly, don't forget to use I. So it should be I am from Philippines host. I live in Mindanao, Agusan del Norte, which is correct. Okay, good job, Mom Nelly. And uh, what do you usually do, Mom Nelly? What do you usually do? So, ibig sabihin, ano ba yung ginagawa mo? Usually, or 80% sa pang-araw-araw. Like example, I usually buy, wag na lang yung buy. Parang merong, parang payaman na yun eh. I usually watch Rafi Tulfo. <laughs> Favorite ko yun eh. I usually watch Rafi Tulfo. Okay, so that one. Usually, it's not always, but usually, meaning 80%. So again, I should have be no S or ES. By the way, after three minutes, guys, I just need to say bye now because it's getting late here. Um, it will be 11 o'clock in the Philippines, so yeah. But though, anyway, thanks a lot for dropping by here in my channel and for those who give a thumbs up for this uh, online streaming. Uh, okay, uh, usually I do my daily work here, cleaning here the house of my employer. Okay, so, okay, so here, on your sentence, Mom Nelly. Okay, so um, here. Wait. So subject first. When we say subject, who? Uh, okay, example. So I, we, 
they, you. She, he, and it. These are the subjects. So there is a rule that subject first and then adverb of frequency. When we say adverb of frequency, these are always, usually, sometimes, okay, rarely, okay, this is rarely, and never. So dapat magkasunod sila, mom, Nelly. For example, yung sabi mo dito, I us uh, usually I do. Since instead of usually I do, you can say, I usually do, okay? So this one, kung nakikita mo, there's no an ing or es on here, which is correct. Your sentence is correct, only that the subject should be at the first. And then next one is usually. That's the rule, okay? So subject, adverb or frequency, and then the action word. I usually do. So you said, I usually do. Okay, my daily, instead of daily work, you can use daily, is it daily? Okay, daily, also oh, you're, okay, you're working at home. So you can say, I usually do my uh, daily chores. So yung chores na yun, yun yung mga gawain natin every day, yung paglilinis ng, uh, paghugas ng pinggan, yung pag, pag ang tawag dito yung pag sweep ng floor yung paglilinis ng bahay we call them chores okay chores so i usually do my daily chores okay so instead of in the house we can use at so at home or at so because she said here at the house of my employer. Okay, I usually do my daily chores. Okay, you can say, who's the owner? Okay, I usually do my daily chores at my employer's, okay, employer's house. Okay. Yeah. So this is how you do this. So, if you notice, guys, there is an apostrophe S. The apostrophe S meaning who's the owner. So here, the owner is the employer. Who's the owner of the house? For example, I will make a sentence, Miss Nelly. Uh, um, example. Um, so, sabihin ko, this bag, this bag is... You know, you may add it. Sample, you call Miss Nelly. Miss Nelly's bag. See? This bag is Nelly's bag. So, maglalagay tayo ng apostrophe S kung sino yung may ari ng bag. Same with this one. Okay? So, by the way, paano pag dalawa yung may ari, tatlo yung may ari, or marami yung may ari? So, Ano ba yung ilalagay natin? For example, meron kang dalawang amo or tatlong amo or marami kang employer so uh, sa isang bahay. So, lahat ng may-ari yun, marami yung may-ari sa bahay na yun. So, you can say like this. I usually do my daily chores at my Employers, dagdagan lang natin ang S. Huli, at my employers, and then apostrophe sa labas, house. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang iisa yung may-ari. Marami ang may-ari ng bahay, marami kang employer. Okay, so you said here, I usually do my work now host. So this one, okay, if you're using now, Okay, another sentence na naman yan. Okay, example. Again, yung I usually do. Again, yung usually do, there's a repetition of action. Okay, yung now, anong oras na ba ngayon? In the Philippines, it's already 11.03. So yung oras na yon hindi mo na maibabalik. 
that is now. So, hindi mo na siya repeat Okay? So, on here, if you're doing the action now, kung ginagawa mo yung action ngayon, you can use like this. I am followed by an ing. I am doing my work now. So, if it's now, kung now naman yung ginagamit nyo, meaning yung action ay nagaganap ngayon, dapat meron siyang ing. Okay? So, don't be confused, guys. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Nelly, for that sentences, that great sentences of yours. Okay? So, I hope na may matutunan kayo sa, ano na to, sa lesson na to. So, yan, guys. If it's now, kung nagaganap ngayon yung action, there should be an ing. Pero, okay. Yes, host, now, I star... My work. Okay. Again, there should be, if you're using now, there should always be an ing with the verb. So instead of yes, host, now it should be I followed by am starting my work. Okay. Okay. And then, by the way, okay, this one. Okay. Yes, host. Now I, you can say yes. Okay. Yes, host. And then now, another comma, guys. Okay, now I am, because it's now. So I am starting my work. Again, there should always be an ing for the verb. Or yung kilos, dapat meron siyang ing. Meaning, ibig sabihin nun, nasimulan mo na yung trabaho mo pero hindi pa hindi ka patapos. Okay, nasimulan mo na siya pero hindi ka patapos. Um diyan tayo gagamit ng uh, subject tapos yung verb tapos yung ing. Always ing guys kapag yung time nyo is now. Okay? Always with an ing. So kapag yung action is paulit-ulit lang like, example, I work every day. So, no ING tayo doon. Kasi every day naman siya, hindi naman siya now eh. Pag now yung gamit mo, with an ING. Pero pag every day, meaning paulit-ulit lang. So, we use simple tense of the verb. So, you can say, I work. <laughs> I work every day. Thank you so much, J.D. Actas. Actually, Miss Nelly did a great job today. She sent me a lot of sentences, which is really good, guys. Kasi nasasanay kayo dyan sa paggawa ng sentences. And then, na-absorb nyo rin kung ano ba, kung paano ba malaman kung paano ba mag-construct ng sentences. Ma'am Nelly Recto, thank you so much for giving your sentences. Okay, I know you're busy now. It's okay, Mom Nelly, if you're busy right now. You may also, yeah, thank you for dropping by. I know that you're doing a lot of jobs. And then uh, I really salute all the OFWs in uh, other countries, guys. Kasi mahirap talaga pag malay sa pamilya. So, yan. How about you, Sis JD? Okay, so Mom Nelly says that She's doing the work now. Okay? So, how about you, Sis JD? What? Mali pala. I'm working every day. No, yes. That's correct, Sis JD. Okay? Kasi every day, paulit-ulit siya. So, dapat without ING tayo dyan. Walang ING kapag yung kilos ay ginagawa natin ng paulit-ulit. Pero kapag now, now yung ating... Uh, uh, oras, yung tawag natin dyan, ano yan eh, uh, time expression. Okay? Yung everyday, now, we call them time expression, guys. Pag yung time expression natin na ginamit ay now, it's always accompanied with an ing, yung ating uh, verb. Pero pag everyday, it, should, it, it shouldn't have an ing. Okay? So, how about you, Sis JD? What do you do every day? Oh, you've told me earlier. 
<laughs> that you do a lot of job. Sige po. <laughs> Alam mo sis JD, okay ka kaya mag-English? Diba? Minsan nag- nag-English ka rin sa live streaming mo. Okay kaya? Actually guys, you don't need to have an accent when you're speaking in English. All you need to do is the proper structure of sentence para maintindihan kayo ng mga listeners nyo. So, hindi nyo kailangan na, yeah, how are you? Parang ganun, hindi mo kailangan ng ganun. Wait, host, I am doing my work now. Oh, good job! <laughs> Miss Nelly, okay, good sentence. Okay, that one is correct. Good job. Okay, so... Thank you, Miss Nelly. It's okay if you want to leave. But thank you so much for dropping by. And I've seen the improvements on your sentences. Okay, see? Napakadali lang matuto ng English, guys. It's really easy. Truth. Ito naman. Okay, sis JD, ikaw naman. Uy. Okay, ano ba yung gusto mong tanongin? So, may mga... May mga, ano ka ba, may mga uh, sentences ka ba na naguguluhan? Bravo, Ate Nelly. Yan. <laughs> Oo nga. Parang napaano rin ako sa kanyang sentence. Uh, na-learn din niya. Actually guys, iniisip ko kung matakas ba yung boses ko ngayon kasi anong oras na dito sa Pilipinas. It's already 11.10. So, absent ako, host. <laughs> absent ako. Absent ka muna. O, sige na, sige na. Thank you so much, JD Actas. Miss Nelly Recto, thank you so much. I play, I will play. Oh, no, 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 not I will. I am going to play your channel tomorrow. Okay, so by the way, why is it going, why is it not will? Because going is 100% rather than will. Okay, I planned it and I made a decision to play your channel tomorrow. Absent ka ba, sis? <laughs> absent ka ngayon? Absent ka? Absent ka sa aking live streaming or absent ka sa trabaho mo? <laughs> hindi, na ka, hindi ka na ba nag, ano, sis, na live stream? Kasi parang hindi na kita nakikita nag live stream. Yung napapanood ko na lang yung mga tungkol sa ano, sa tawag dito, yung sa Mar, ano nga ba yun? Yung Tandem, tapos may bago kang singer na Aita rin, na bagong newly discovered. So yun, yun na lang yung mga napapanood ko. Okay, guys. By the way, thank you so much. Hira pala mag-English. O, hindi si si Uy. Practice, practice lang konti. Yan. Hindi na lagi, host. Okay. So, um, dahil hirap ka mag-English, sabi mo. So, meron tayong, I will share to you. Margel, o oh, Margel pala yun. I will share to you the easiest one para mas madaling maintindihan yung English. Okay. Um, okay. First is yung paggamit ng is, are, um, was, and were. So yun eh, yung limang to. So, uh, pwede mo siyang gamitin, for example, sa action or sa verb. So, pag verb naman, yung ginamit mo dito sa is, are, um, was, were, dapat meron siyang ing. Palagi yan, sis. Okay, always when it comes to action, is is followed by a verb with an ing. When you say verb with an ing, brushing. Brush plus ing, brushing. So example, she is brushing, he is brushing, they are brushing, I am brushing. So pagkatapos, if in the past naman, yung very specific na time, like alas 4 ng hapon, yung ginawa mo, so he was brushing. Yan. Dapat meron always with an ing. Yan. 
So, kailan ba tayo gagamit ng was and were? So, gagamit tayo ng was and were sis if, example, yung, ano, wait, like, for example, sis, um, yung brushing. Example, yung, yung kilos na yun nangyari kahapon. So, kahapon pa yun, di ba? For example, sis, ano yung ginawa mo noong alas 4 ng hapon, kahapon? Ano ang ginawa mo noong alas 4 ng hapon, kahapon? Yan. Dito papasok ang was and were with an ing. Kasi very specific siya. May time siya. Ibig sabihin, noong oras na yon present ba yun? <laughs> okay. Noong oras na yon may ginagawa ka. Noong alas 4 ng yun, may ginagawa ka, pero hindi pa siya tapos. For example, I was watching Rafi Tulfo. Okay, I was watching Rafi Tulfo at 4 p.m. yesterday. Okay, tapos na siya kahapon. Kahapon lang siya. Nangyari. Pero nung nangyari yun, sa oras na yun, nanunood pa rin ako ng Rafi Tulfo. Hindi pa siya tapos nung alas 4 ng hapon. Natapos ako ng panunood alas 5 na ng hapon. So, nung alas 4 ng hapon, nakasimula na akong manood, pero hindi pa ako natapos manood. So, dyan, papasok yung I was watching, we were watching, they were watching. So, yan. Okay. So, guys, so I think I need to leave now kasi it's 11.15 na, guys. And then tulog na yung mga tao dito. So, let's give it a rest and let's continue this lesson tomorrow. And thank you so much for having you guys on here. And I really appreciate it. Ms. J.D. Actas, Nivea Recto, and uh, who else are on here? Popsky TV and Rose Cooking Vlog. Thank you so much for dropping by in my channel. And of course, the one and only Jeremy. Thank you so much Okay, for attending my class every day. Okay, thank you guys and have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye, sis, JD. Thank you.